Hello, this is part 10 of the Mean.js tutorial. So in our last video, we just started writing our end-to-end -end test, and now we're going to finish that up. So what we last left off on was the test for just regularly creating a post. So what we're going to do is navigate to the create page. And we didn't do that here in the last test because the test before that already navigates to the create page. But here we just want to make sure we refresh the page to clear out all the other messages that popped up. So first we're going to write a title. and then write in the text field. Then we're going to click on the submit button. That's button type submit. Now we should expect first the browser to redirect to the forum page and we also expect so we can use this by repeater method to get our ng repeat object. We're just going to make sure the count is one, since there should be one object in there. And what we're going to do next is write our should be able to delete post test. So we're going to make sure it navigates to the forum page and then we're going to click the delete button which should be the one with the button dot danger class. We expect the repeater to be zero, and we expect the current URL to be the same. So let's go ahead and run our tests and see what happens. Looks like we have one failing test, and that is in our error message checking test. So I'll show you how to debug something like this. We can pause the browser right before it does its assertion. If we run the test again, then we'll pause the page and we can take a look at the page to see what's going on.
So we want to see the required post title error message here, but it looks like we forgot to in our create view we have to put the required tag back into the form field and you can run the test on your own machine again but in this video we'll just move on to the next part so that's all for our end-to-end -end tests and what we're going to do next is go back and write a couple more tests in the server side routes test so that's post routes test.js first what we're going to do is add two more variables here for a second user we're going to make another set of credentials and I'm just going to add the number two in front of everything to make it fast So then we should save our second user. So that, that stuff. And so the first test we're going to write is should not be able to create a post if not signed in. All we have to do here is use our agent dot post and just like the previous test To expect, we're going to expect a 403. That's going to mean access is unauthorized. And all we need to do is there's an error, return error. We're also going to write a test for deleting when we're in we're logged in as the wrong user. going to create a post object and we're just going to save our post and don't forget to set the host author in the previous test since we may have missed that in the other video so after that we're just going to not post but we're going to try to delete
our host that we just created. We're going to expect 403 again. And we're just going to return the arrow. There is one. And now let's try to run our test to make sure that nothing else is broken. So there is our two new tests that should be failing since we haven't set up the access policies and now we're going to do that. So since there's no generator for the policy file, we're just going to create it from scratch. It's going to be located in our form module server policies and it's just going to be called post.server.policy.js I will put the script at the top and we're going to be requiring the ACL module ACL equals new ACL ACL dot .end so to define our Access policies, we need to create this method. Here we'll just be calling the acl.allow and this will take an array of objects and each object will have an array of the roles and allows the roles is, are just going to be our user roles like admin and in the allows there will be an object with our resources and permissions so the resources is just going to be our route and the permissions is can either be an array or in this case we're just going to give it universal permission for every command. I will need to write another one for our route with the parameter. And we'll create one more for our user role the same resource route and for permissions we'll give it get and post and we're running out of time for this video so I'll show you how we're going to finish up this user access control file and we also have to add in the delete permission